willow tit, as many people know me will say, is it's Mark's favourite bird. So I've been studying them for 21 years in Wigan and for about three years before that I realised how they were declining while I was working for the RSPB in North Staffordshire. So it's quite a long while. Quite difficult to separate willow tits from marsh tits. It's relatively easy from all the other tits because it's a sepia brown colour, whereas blue tits are bluey and yellow, as are great tits. The willow tit is quite unusual because the male and the female both hold territories and the female is quite aggressive at maintaining her territory um, which is really unusual in small birds. It also has a call that it uses almost like a language. You can hear the difference between when it's signalling to its mate that there's a woodpecker nearby or a sparrowhawk or a squirrel. There's a slightly different call or even the great tits coming near the nest. Each time it does these things it behaves and calls slightly differently. The willow tit is rare and declining, probably because of climate change. Willow tit needs damp, cool woods where white rot affects the dead tree stumps. This white rot makes the trees very, very soft and willow tits have to excavate their own holes. Um, and because it's only a, a little bird, the size of a great tit, you can imagine it needs to have really soft timber and if you don't have this timber you essentially lose the nesting opportunities so that makes the biggest threat to willow tits being climate change then you start to get this decline based on the warmer drier summers and so on then things like predation and development and the breaking up of the landscape um, become much, much more important. So HS2 will be worrying for the willow tit because willow tit is a species that doesn't move very far in its entire life. It probably only moves about five kilometres from its natal nest site uh, in its entire life to set up a new territory. So they are very limited in the distances in which they travel. And if we break up the landscape with roads and railways and, and industry and housing and so on, this is the thing that stops the bird being able to keep that meta population. The Wigan Flashes and the wider NIA that the Wigan Flashes are part of hold 10% of the British population. The conservation work at the Wigan area has been largely about increasing the amount of scrub and preventing it getting too mature because when it gets too mature and you get large trees appearing, the willow tits move out. We've also made nesting stumps about shoulder height and you with the chainsaw or a drill, you put holes in to allow the water in and allow the rot. So that's been really important. So there's quite a range of uh, uh, work that can be done to help improve the chances of willow tits, or at least conserve the willow tits in their landscape. <laughs>